ask you a question? No, not that question, but can I ask you a question? I realize I've just asked you a question twice, but I was going to ask you, do you think dentists no longer use dental amalgam? You know, those silver metal fillings that they stick in your back teeth and that they used before white fillings came around? Well, the answer to that question might depend on which country you live in. And I'm going to give you the answer a little bit later. But firstly, I want to give you some facts about amalgam fillings, what that means for your teeth and your health. Because even if your dentist doesn't use amalgam anymore, it's likely you've still got this type of filling in your teeth. Number one, dental amalgam fillings contain about 50% mercury. Mercury is a heavy metal that's extremely toxic to humans, but it's said in many studies that the mercury is bound in the filling and yet other studies show it vaporizes and leaks out of the filling, ends up in your body, and it can potentially lead to issues with your bodily functions and health. Two, amalgam fillings have no natural adhesive qualities, so the tooth must be drilled out into a shape that holds the filling in. This means removing large amounts of healthy tooth structure so that the compound can be wedged into place. This has been shown to cause microscopic hairline cracks in the structure of the tooth and that allows bacteria and other infectious agents and toxins to get inside the inner structure of the tooth. That is going to eventually cause more decay and damage so that further treatment must be done. Number three, wedging in an amalgam filling distorts and weakens your tooth. Eventually, Cracks in the tooth structure may appear, leading to sections of the tooth fracturing away, or worse still, splitting the tooth open into the nerve. This means you're going to need more dental work, bigger fillings, sometimes a crown or even a root canal. If your tooth breaks so badly, below the gum line for example, or splits, then the tooth has to be removed because it's too damaged to be repaired. Number four, the amalgam itself can crack leak and fail and even fall out over time because it doesn't glue to your tooth and then it will need to be replaced to ensure your tooth is properly filled and restored. Five, amalgam fillings have been shown to discolor and tarnish teeth over time causing cosmetic concerns to many patients as the teeth will look gray and unsightly. This can't be fixed with tooth whitening, the filling will need to be replaced and more tooth drilled away to remove the discolored area. Or if it's very dark, the tooth's going to be need to be covered with a cosmetic porcelain crown. Six, mercury fillings are softer than your tooth structure, and many times they don't wear well under biting and chewing forces. Nor do they distribute the load of these forces equally through the tooth, down the root and into the bone, which is another reason teeth crack. Also, the fact that bite forces are not loaded correctly, that can lead to bone loss around the tooth and that can make your tooth loose. Number seven, metal-based fillings and restorations have been shown to prove a battery effect in the mouth when they are exposed to acidic saliva. Measurable voltages caused by amalgams and the other mixed metals combining with the saliva have been detected and documented. This could actually pose potential serious problems as those electrical currents interfere with the functioning of the central nervous system and the brain and lead to sensitivity to electromagnetic frequencies. And that question I asked you earlier, well, do dentists still use amalgam? In America, the UK and Australia, yes, dentists still do and they're trained to use it but thankfully it's not so popular, so usage has dropped. However, NHS dentists and dental insurance dentists in the US must use amalgam as anything else isn't covered for payment. Great news though, Europe and many other countries are banning the use of amalgam because of environmental concerns as mercury from dental clinics ends up in our waterways and oceans, unless, like me, they have an amalgam capture device fitted. Now, personally, I believe it should be banned because we care about 
our environment, your environment, your body, because the mercury ends up polluting you and that can cause a lot of problems. Also, when the fillings get drilled out, you get a large exposure to mercury during that visit. So if you want to prevent that, you'll want to watch this video to understand how amalgam fillings should be removed safely.